Theseus Vasilius Tavros is a warrior cleric on a religious pilgrimage. His primary focus is to find an artifact that will help his home, the Minotaur city-state of Voskia, and the Order of the Maze that he represents as he traverses the world. In his order, he is called a navigator, a young adventurer who will find his place in the church and Voskian society through great deeds. Minotaurs are sometimes seen as primitive barbarians in Almora, but Theseus considers himself quite civilized. He enjoys solving problems, using logic and conflicts, and helping people navigate the labyrinth and acts of self-discovery. As he travels, he hopes that he can disprove the belief that all minotaurs are evil and savage, and learn a thing or two along the way. Varley Braun is a three-foot-tall, 30-pound uh, halfling rogue. He can easily be thrown. Um, he is very self-serving and very um, individualistic. Uh, doesn't tend to get along well with others, but is so desperate for fun and, and entertainment in his own life that um, he is desperate for this kind of adventure. So um, he'll be interesting to play, I think. Gaius Berezin is a human one-armed fighter who comes from the land of Hals. Years ago, he was a soldier in the Halsian army, until one day he comes home to his hometown of Ebenstone to find that his wife and children had been murdered in a raid from Valaris. He swore vengeance on those who killed his family, but in his rage, he loses his arm. He falls on hard times and hard drinks for a few years, but eventually he comes to realize that life is still worth living and swears to live life to the fullest until he can meet his family again in the next life. Hi everyone, my name is Christine, and I am playing Vita Teidai, pronouns they, them, a lizard folk, wild magic sorcerer. They come from a community where there has not been a wild magic user in quite some time, so their magic is pretty out of control, and when they decided mm, maybe they wanted to go see the world, their village was very excited about it. So now, Vita's just out roaming around trying to get their magic under control. And uh, that's when they meet up with this party. My name is Robbie, and uh, I play Red in the Amora RPG campaign, along with his faithful companion and sidekick, Herschel. Uh, Red is a shifter ranger who um, grew up in Perea in a tiny little town called Aramor. One day, uh, his entire town uh, was destroyed. When he was five, he eventually made his way uh, to Nagual over near the coast. Some of his personality is that because he's been, you know, just out hunting for a good, good portion of his life, he doesn't have the best social skills. You know, he gets his stuff done. He's pretty, uh, pretty quiet, but also um, determined and uh, very methodical about getting it done and uh, super reliable about getting it done. He's, uh, he's going to see it through, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks. So I play Rhythm, a tabaxi druid. I grew up in a little town called Hazeldrum, which is on the border between uh, Paria and Halls. I grew up there with my adoptive mother, a human woman who found me wandering in the forests when I was about a year old. She died a few years back, uh, and I found out pretty darn quick that without her protection, I was not welcome in Hazeldrum anymore. So I've been wandering. I ran into some druids who taught me druidic magics and helped me harness some powers that I've had pretty much my entire life. Um, but I've been sticking to the outskirts, avoiding towns and villages. But I ran into this minotaur a little while ago named Theseus, who has been, I don't know, making me wonder if I should give towns a second chance. So now he and I are trying to figure out what to make of life as to kind of strange creatures in this weird world. <laughs> but that's me. That's Rhythm. Theseus Vasilius. What's up, everybody? A little sleepy. <laughs> me too. I'm going to start this session off by calling Dana real fast. 
Let's do it. That'd be funny. Hang on, I gotta get some music going. All right, there we go. Okay. I hope she's not dead. <laughs> that would be very unfortunate. Yeah. Seven, zero. Well, I feel like the only rational conclusion is that Dana's dead. Oh, so. God. Hey, this stream immediately just got viral. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, speaking of non-viral, uh, but could potentially one day, if we ever get famous, come back to bite me in the ass anyway, things. Uh, I just want to... No one has said anything, but my own uh, self-consciousness harassed me over the weekend about a joke that I made at Friday's stream while Allie did a great job of running a two-shot Eldritch Horror thing. Uh, I, it's no secret I hate religion, just with, with a passion. I think that it does more harm than good. However, uh, there is a, a fine line between uh, saying something that is cri critical of religion as opposed to uh, being like problematic and lumping people into a group, and uh, I crossed that line. That's my bad. Shouldn't have done it. There's Hi, were you guys calling? Dana. Yeah, I was. What's up? No, I was uh, just making oh, sure yeah. you were alive. Yeah. And and I was explaining. I said something shitty on uh, Friday night stream, and I'm taking accountability. Oh, for what did you past. say that was shitty? Uh, Robbie said something about like he thought that Ali said Alo Akbar, and we we had a dude. It was a lindworm that was like in my face trying to intimidate me, and so I said, and then he explodes because right. you know. And I was like, then I thought about it over the week, and I was like, uh, that's pretty Islamophobic. It's not necessarily critical of religion. It's critical of yeah. people, and that's not yeah, fine. Yeah, it was too specific. So, yeah. Okay. So, well, good job. I'm calling myself out real fast before you know mm -hmm. someone thinks that I think that that's okay. It's not. The problem is especially because while I do think that religion is bad and it does a lot of harm, right. grouping people into groups like that enables people who want to do harm to do more harm. So just don't fucking do that. Okay. Where's Sarah? Mm -hmm. Anyway. She's not going to be here for a little while. Remember, she's moving. Yeah, she's taking a break oh, while okay. she moves. There. Yeah, she's she'll be gone for a few weeks. Uh, okay. She's got she got a pack and it's that's all thing. Gotcha. So she's uh, very tired and overwhelmed, but she's happy. She likes her new place. She's just, yay. It's the whole. It's the whole process. Okay. Of Give me one second. BRB. Okay. <laughs> not loud. Okay. <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Uh. But, so on that note, Robbie is not going to be here next week. Which means I have to take control. Well, maybe. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. I have um. ideas. Uh, and, and we can choose how we would like to, to handle this. Um, I know that the rule of thumb, the, the number one cardinal rule is don't split the party. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. I'm making you a promise as a DM that if we choose to split the party, I will not kill you intentionally. Um, like it'll be a, it'll be a narrative split as opposed to, I mean, look, if the dice roll go bad, I can't help that. But yeah, uh, but generally, I'm not gonna like be like, oh, you split the party. Here's a fucking ancient red Fuck dragon. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna do that to you. So, um, but I'm I'm thinking of a couple of different options. One, we could just take the week off next week if everyone wants to do that. Or we could stagger it and we can spend, because I think Robbie may be interested in doing basically a lot of Robbie work tonight anyway. You guys may want to be here for. There may be things that your characters want to kind of handle individually that we can basically do a, a two on two type session, three on two type session, where some of you sit out one week, like Robbie will be out next week. We spend some time on that, then the, the following week the other folks show up and then we do that. I also kicks the can down the road for a little while to give Sarah time to come back. Um, okay. So, options, ideas, thoughts, suggestions. I like kicking next? cans. Okay. I the only other thought I had was I know we're trying to find like standby kind of people mm. and it could be like we could use it as a training section of like here's all the bullshit we've already done yeah or and like roll up a character with them and 
shit like that, like well, reintroducing them to the party. This if would we be have for... like one or two people who are ready to be standbys. This would be for Primora though. That oh, the true, yeah. Of, so, <laughs> oh, I mean, that being said, we could also just use the time, yeah, to talk through uh, loose hooks, handle more shopping episode type stuff. Mm -hmm. um, basically, call it a half session or something. Yeah, um, yeah, that's an option. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, detour quest, uh, housekeeping episode, or skip. Gotta do some. You gotta do or some crazy idea. detour. Detour. Yeah, yeah let's do detour. detour. Okay. I so Dana, I don't. That's not time. <laughs> did you Did you hear the yeah. the stuff yeah, I was saying? Yeah, you guys okay. on. Yeah, speaker. Okay, just yeah. Gotcha. Um. So that'll give you guys a chance to also explore things more in depth that maybe you've been wondering about for your characters or I mean it could still be some housekeeping like hey I need to go take care of whatever or hey we found this whatever so many sessions ago I want to really look at that for a few weeks or something a few weeks in game not actual few weeks but um So yeah we can basically call this the uh the intermediary stuff um, so all that being said, I would like for you guys to pair up, um, and talk about what you would like to do so that I can prepare and also choose what week you guys play if we go that route. Um, we don't necessarily have to do it immediately, but maybe while we're going through this, just be thinking about stuff and we can talk about it during the break or after stream or in the chat or whatever. Um, so for example, like, uh, Robbie... If we go through your stuff tonight, you may just pair up with whoever's going the second, not this next, coming week, but yeah. after that. Just tag along, basically look sure. out for them, uh, since you'll be doing a lot of your shit tonight. So basically, two of you can choose a, I'm going to go do whatever thing, and then the other two. I'm just impressed you came up with it that quickly. With whatever what? we're doing. <laughs> oh, no, it's, yeah. I, I'm, I'm nothing if not... Uh, full of shit to pull out. Yeah, <laughs> pooping, poop jokes. He's nothing. Poop. If not full of He's shit. He's nothing if not poop jokes. Yeah. yeah. True. I am nothing without them. <laughs> I'm just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, and and I guess I'll just go ahead. Is there anything before we jump into this from this conversation? Uh. Either the, the previous, hey, don't be an Islamophobe, or the current uh, housekeeping stuff that you guys want to chime in on before we get too in depth. I chime in. Oh, oh, God damn it, Rob, use privileges. God. <laughs> Got nothing, man. No. All right. Good to go. Fair enough. Yeah, we'll, good. we'll see what we come up with. Sounds good. All right, what happened last time? We did lots time? of shopping. It was a shopping episode. Well, eventually it was. There was <laughs> did. some things that happened previously to that. Uh, what even were they? Uh, what even was it that we did? In fact... Um, we chatted with the... Oh, God, I forget his Aero name. Iron the lion Man. dude. Well, I know. Like, yeah. We uh, updated him on, like, hey, here's all the bullshit and the reason why your, um, like, council room is now flooded. Sorry. We also found out that, uh, we might have, uh, a, uh, a, a, a good contact in Valeris in the Civil War right now. Oh, yeah, you guys did find out about that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I forgot there, about there that. we, we might be, I know we were supposed to be heading towards Rhythm's home and then heading towards Valeris, but, uh, yeah, I think that was the last but we might decision. be sidetracking that for a minute while we're taking detours, which that may be a detour that we take is, is mm -hmm. going, going. 
going home like baseball we go home i think we need a detour to save matchbox Rob, 20 we're trying to do sh other shit here man i no i'm serious <laughs> i am actually matchbox 20 is perfectly safe you think you yes, think also, you think that minotaur I, would hurt him he no, would protect that thing with 20. his life he's the mascot Herschel's the mascot. Yeah. We, Plus we can make him I mean, cool. to be honest, we promised Matchbox 20 that we would find them a safe place to, like, live and, and we did. just be. And that's kind of what Matchbox 20 is doing right now. He does not need to be adventuring with us. He didn't sign up for that shit. Matchbox 20. No. For once, we actually fulfilled our promise to someone. <laughs> I mean, he's <laughs> my buddy. And I can ask him about weird stuff. Also, we can make him dispose of bodies. Man. We need a body to disposal. We got back up 20. So eat a motherfucker. He's so little. So much body to try to get through. No, no, but yeah, so that's so yeah. After determining that was our next course of action, then we did a whole shitload of trying to keep our gear up to our level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, and thus here we are. I remember that. Uh, I needed to go see old old uh, old Cleveland Steamer about uh, <laughs> about some things. So I guess I need I guess we need okay. to go to Cleveland. No. So we can duke on people's chests. We go see steam. No, we're gonna go see Steam. There's no poop involved. Get out of here. Um, is there anything that you guys thought of in the interim that you would like to purchase or find before you guys get into narrative work? Nope, not nothing that I can think of here. Or anything specific you guys were looking for last time that maybe we'd like to take another stab at? Is there something we should I mean, be? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> no, I'm giving you the opportunity before we get I too have, deep in story, I have, basically. Just... I feel like I've good on everything that I can be good on right now. There are other yeah. things that I want, of course, but, uh, you know, money. Okay. Alright. So, um, you guys finish a shopping okay. trip. Probably t takes an entire day. So let's see, what day would that put you on? What? I have not been keeping good day notes because so much has been happening in yeah. each session. Where did so. day notes? Why is that gone? Nineteen. So it is Pratum the eighteenth. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Pratum the nineteenth. Okay. Let's go. And let's see on what is on Pratum the nineteenth. Yeah. Let's see if there's any holidays. Holiday. Oh, you guys would have had Sefreda's dance. It would be so uh, nice. Yes, but during the shopping day episode. Cool. Uh, That's why we went shopping for Sefreda. Yeah, we'll say that you guys ended your night with some basic festivity type stuff and then call a night, go to bed, wake up on the 19th. Um, Red, your show. Yeah, it's my show. It's my show. That's bad at uh we need to, I need to go see Steam. So I wanna right. go I wanna go do that unless unless everybody else is like, no fuck you, we're not doing that. No, it makes sense. He's your kind of contact here, he's, right? He's an old he's like your an old, old friend, friend or something. He's yeah. You're an old friend. Once. 
So <coughs> you go, not knowing exactly where to find him, you head back toward the uh, chambers of the Vagrant Council and start looking around uh, the um, the offices. You remember that he had his own, basically, area, his own office and uh, study in mm-hmm. the building. Um, when you get there, though, uh, security is tight while they're still in the cleanup process and trying to figure yeah. stuff out. Uh, you walk up. There is uh, a full orc guard and a full uh, loxodonta, which, by the way, I've noticed Critical Role is also doing this, but we're changing the name of certain races because Wizards of the Coast is wonky about the OGL and how you can use stuff. And so just rather than getting involved, you just steer completely fucking clear of it. Um, mm-hmm. Loxodon is just the the Latin word for elephant. If you take off one syllable, I re-added the syllable. Now it's just a Latin word and they can't say shit about it. So, uh, Loxodon, yeah, you'll hear me say... Come Unless at you us. want to sponsor us, yeah. then. Give me the yeah, they Salvatore come at us, deal. please. Yeah, give me the R.A. Salvatore deal. I will write novels. <laughs> I'll work on graphic novels. I'll make music. I'll run this stream. I'll do all the shit that I'm already doing. Just, like, don't fucking sue me. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, there are certain names that I'm just steering clear of. Uh, some of them I have to re remember what the fuck I... I called Eric Coker or something different. I can't remember what it is now. Anyway, doesn't matter. Loxodonta. Orc Loxodonta standing there. As you guys approach, they kind of stop you guys. The orc uh, being um, obviously the mm-hmm. more charismatic of the two. It's like, what's your business? I need to see Steam. Place a pot of water over a fire and wait. Yeah, I already did that. I need to see the physical manifestation of Steam. It's a little bit of orc humor. You guys are the ones who did this, yep. right? Unless you don't want us to be the guys that did that. That seems shifty. Hey, I'm just saying. Uh, here, here, Here's the deal. Help, help a guardsman out. I'm new. I don't have a lot of clout on the guard. Tell me something no one else knows. Let me, you know, let, let me get some, some, some clout here, and I'll I'll take you to Steam myself. Um, you know, usually I would just maybe have Steam bring here, but you know what, man, I'm 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 feeling all right tonight. Hey, uh, rhythm, keen mind, tell the man something he doesn't know. Yeah. What, what happened here? What's all this about? This is what we call delegating. The friend that you guys sent us on a journey with ended up being a devil who was waiting for the destruction of this nation, and the damage is because I summoned a storm inside of the council room um, to strike her with lightning and ended up killing her that way. Well, uh, not killing her, sending her back to the hell that she came from. So you're saying we've been infiltrated by devils? You... A devil, yes. You're not a, you're, you're not a so devil, the, are you? The, uh, the person named Seely, the, the little thing that y'all sent us out of here with, like, approximately two months ago? Some shit like that? Yeah, that, that was a devil. So that's the first devil you guys have fought? No, that's the second. The second? Yeah, so the there other are... one was... Have you... Yes, there are more than one... Uh, here. Excuse... No, not here. It was in another nation. Huh? How do you know there aren't more? There probably are, but, like... Can you go get steam or not? I can. Thank you. Here, just follow me. I'll take you to his office. Awesome. He, You can tell that he's very disturbed by this news, and he's kind of like asking nervous questions the whole way through the corridors. 
Like what? what like mm-hmm. what kind of questions? Like how, how do you tell? How do you know? What do I need to be on the lookout for? That kind of stuff. Oh. oh. Mm-hmm. You guys should really put up like magical protections that like dispel disguises and shit. That would be helpful. Um. Well, so that that's. Don't don't tell anyone I said this, but we we talked about that at one point. But um, state or vain, if you catch my meaning. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, that was the excuse in the other nation, and um, hence there was another demon, devil. Devils tend <sighs> to exploit that, so maybe heads of state can suck it up. Hey, yeah. listen, preach into the choir. I mean, look, I, I look like this, but, uh, you know, I, I own it. Uh, I've turned it into an asset. Uh, use my toughness for intimidation. So uh, I, I say when life gives you lemons, uh, you crush them in your fist. Because I can do that. Do you want to see me do that? Yes. Okay, hang on. No, he just not, veers not off. Really. He's gone. <laughs> However, you guys basically were standing outside of Steam's door. But wait, Vita wants to see Crush Lemon! Oh, right, no, right, we must focus. Vita, we all want to see Crush Lemons, but uh, I'll show you a Crush Lemon. Like, I'll have Herschel crush one for you. That sounds infinitely more fascinating. Herschel has no thumbs. But he does have a lot of pressure. Put the, put, put the lemon on the ground, watch it smash. I knock on Steam's door. All right. You hear some rustling papers inside. Uh, the scratch of a chair against the floor. Footsteps. Mm-hmm. And the door creaks open. And he goes, I don't remember. D- does anyone remember what voice I used for Steam? Not in the fucking slightest, nope. no man. All right. Well, we're just going to pretend that I was consistent. And that uh, th- this voice is what he talks like. Um. Top of the morning to you. That is definitely not it. That's most confusing attempt at an accent I think I've heard in a uh, year. Uh, um, and I've had to listen to myself learn shit. Um, yeah, so Steam opens the door and he's like, ah, right. Yes. Good. Uh, yeah, come in. Come in. I walk in. Is everybody else follow? Yes. Okay. I'm going to stand yep. outside the door and just, like, keep an eye. I'm going in. So you're staying outside, though? I hand a okay. rhythm my eye, like, just pull it out of my socket, and here, keep this, just keep Don't this, just keep this that. eye. Put, put it back in your eye. I put it back in my oh, eye yeah. for Gaius' That's... sake. <laughs> they call him Mad Eye Rouge. That's right. <laughs> um... I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> Ignored or not, it happened. Um, so you guys go in, except for uh, Rhythm. Um, he's kind of got like a... Lounge is probably a, a generous word for what it is, but a seating area uh, to discuss policies and, and whatnot with folks. Uh, he encourages you to sit down, uh, and he goes, so, real fast... Um, what happened? Uh, you know, devil things. Uh, the whole, uh, you know, man, you remember when I was telling you when we first got here about stuff that was going down in Beckon? Sort of, sort of, I mean, they, 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 uh, they don't, they're not just, uh, it's a worldwide enterprise, is what I'm trying to say. Oh. Uh, how are the, the temples? Oh, they're, they're destroyed. Yeah, I uh, I screwed that one up. I'm still uh, coming to terms with that. My bad. Okay. Uh, I'm not happy about it, but, uh, you know. Don't spread that info around, by the way. Yeah. Why? Because you don't want people to think about it. Okay. Did did anything happen when they were destroyed? Ah. Uh, anything weird? Mm. Define weird. 
uh, uh, ground shaking, um, fire raining from the sky. No, no uh, apocalypse stuff. No. Oh. But they did start to deteriorate. Nature started to reclaim them. Is this fair to say? It's a good word to use. Okay. Sense. Uh. Well, that's a mess to clean up. Yeah. I guess it's better that the devil's taken care of for now, though. Uh, cut to outside of the door. Uh, the orc guard comes back and sees Rhythm, and he goes, See, check this out. This is uh, it's a lot of fun, actually. It's a stress reliever until you realize you have to go get another uh, lemon, and that's a real pain in the ass but and he just crushes like citrus gets everywhere it's on the wall on the floor and he just like shows you this like pulpy mass afterwards it's pretty cool right yeah you know so where'd your friends go do they want to see they're uh they're meeting with steam i'm just oh. keeping an eye out to see what kind of traffic is like right now oh. now that everyone's kind of on guard oh okay We'll tell them, uh, let, let me know if they want to see me crush the lemon. And yeah, he kind of like dejectedly yeah. starts walking back to his post. Hey, have you, have you ever, um. Yeah, lemons? What? Have you ever seen these, um. Lemons? Like thin latex, uh, right. balloon things? You can, Condoms. if you put. I wouldn't really put a lemon inside of it. If you put sand inside of them, it gives you the same feeling without any of the mess. It's latex. It's that stretchy shit. Like, it's a new alchemical thing. Sometimes you can find it in the cities. I'm just throwing latex into your world. Yeah, I, that's the question. Is, like, is it reasonable for a... No, um, it is not. Uh, 13... 13 to 1500s ish setting to have discovered uh synthetic rubber not not unless ed now hey there. um latex some latex like some rubbers are natural there's like a it's rubber tree. from plant resins and stuff like there's yeah. a rubber well, tree. i know there's a rubber tree but latex specifically has to be manufactured okay, yeah latex specific it, i'm calling it that okay. but it's a stretchy fucking substance that you can put stuff in okay I want to be thinking about this for two weeks now. Pizza um, doesn't know challenge the right to wizard and anything is possible. I mean, that's true. Wizards can transmute shit. Yeah. Eh, uh, we'll see. I'll think about it. We'll see how I feel about it. <laughs> after <I've actually laughs> so in the next episode, we will see Ed and Al uh, as characters in the show. And that'll be Who? Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, Ed yeah. Al. Yeah. Ah, uh, you got the Elric man. No, you don't. You're just supposed to know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're supposed to be tapped into the psychic network. How are you not? But you're talking about Al Bundy, okay? That I'd love Al Bundy as a character. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> when you put Ed now together, you get lead or lead, and one of those will kill you. Anyway. The other one you might guys, kill you too. That's true. You're not wrong. I'm basically teaching him how to make a stress ball so that um, he doesn't make a mess every time he wants to like crush something. No, he wants to make that makes him feel powerful. But like permanent being able to crush, yeah. endless crush. The end result of destruction is what brings him joy. Uh, well, okay. However. If you gave him something tougher to crush and he still destroyed it, he'd be fucking ecstatic. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, back in, in Steam's office, uh, he looks at Randy and goes, So, um, have you been back to Aramore nope. since? Been kind of busy. Turns out... Um, your dad never left. And then you see the cartoon uh, jaw drop to the floor, tongue rolls out like a red carpet, eyes go like it's just straight up cartoony. Uh, but basically, yeah. Red's face just it doesn't. I'm making a joke, but Red's face just goes blank. He's 
yeah. processing but not showing anything. Blue screen of yeah. death, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Hunt took me out that way a few months ago. We got close to the to the ruins and and uh one of the one of the old towers on the keep still standing and uh he's holed up there just kind of living his life i don't know if he's protecting the place he didn't seem very talkative uh a lot of fey creatures though and he he didn't seem too uh too kind with them i uh i take this and pretty much uh where which which tower was this we're at in the wood so it, it's in the ruins of Aramore. Basically. oh he's in so the ruins okay what yeah so what uh over the last what do we say 25 yeah. or so years uh has kind of fallen and gone back to nature what has withstood that uh amount of time uh it sounds like your dad is is hiding out in one of those like has made his home in one of those towers uh red just kind of nods at steam and heads out the door uh before you head out he goes hey red he he doesn't turn his head but you just see it lift up slightly yeah mind the fay uh he's just gonna respond i always do and he walks out the door as he's walking out the door he just passes right by rhythm and he's just making his way out of the council of vagrants okay oh are we done okay um hey slow down Vita scampers okay. off okay yes, really wide, wide and excited because like uh, red has been decidedly close to the vest about anything to do with his past so like new exposition is very exciting to vita <laughs> Uh, wants to just, learn more. Just to keep things, because because Sarah says sometimes I don't keep things light enough. Uh, to keep things light, Vita, will you make a uh, a dexterity check for me? Oh no, going to make the lizard do a thing. Rude. Blame it on Sarah. Vita does a. Vita does well, lizard scramble, and what is it? It's, dexterity. It's just a dexterity check, yeah. Work. Okay. It's because uh, Vita does not wear shoes. No, Vita doesn't wear <laughs> shoes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> this isn't a saving throw, but just a straight it's check. A check yeah. Okay. Um, that's an 11. I'm sorry. Uh, I thought you would pass this. I did, um, too. <laughs> so they Scooby-Doo a little bit. All of the lemon juice on the floor from the guard slips Vita up. Uh, and they have to like kind of scramble and basically make scratch marks down the wall as they kind of like awkwardly slide, try not to bust their ass. <laughs> Just like, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Just scramble lizard, all fours. It's a whole thing. It spreads lemon bits and juice everywhere. Yeah. And everyone else has to do a dexterity check. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, 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 just Vita, because yeah. there's no shoes. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, like? Unless she tries to take one of us Them. down with her. Them, yeah. After after Them, hearing sorry. Vita crash to the ground and hearing Rhythm uh, <laughs> kind of do the uh, Nathan Fillion from Firefly gif with the hands and the... or I, It's not from... But you know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, it is. Because uh, yeah. I've never seen Firefly. Yeah. Uh, I it, uh, probably like it. Oh. No. That is, yeah, don't tell me. Don't tell me what that. I want. It's a um, good show. No, I believe that you would. Yeah, enjoy I'm not it. saying this is a Firefly flinch. Like, oh, you have to love it because I understand why some people might not. I genuinely, you would specifically. You well, would. I'm not because it's only one season, and I'm not a one season kind of guy. Uh Yeah, I'm not a one uh, season kind of guy. That about you. <laughs> Let me write that down. I'm, I'm in it for the long haul. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I'm so are Firefly fans because they are a bit ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, right, that, that's Rob why we're so dating sad. profile says, "Hey, ladies, I'm in. Uh, I'm into commitment and not watching shows that don't know how to end." Yeah. Uh, 
But um, yeah, after hearing that, he just turns around and goes, I'm heading to Aramore. You can come with me or you can stay. But uh, that's where I'm going right now. I'm that, not going anywhere that's else. That's side quest? Oh, fuck. Vita's okay, coming! Well. Just Vita! Vita's coming! <laughs> <laughs> and Red continues to just bolt on out. I do miss having a character okay. who has hooves for that exact purpose, though, Vita. I'm sorry. No, they're scrambled lizard on a marble floor. It makes perfect sense that they would Scooby Doo a little. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just as Red is beelining out, I'm gonna shift into another panther and just be like, okay, I guess we're scampering off. Follow behind. Herschel just kind of Herschel just kind of looks back and is like. This is this is my thing. He's uh. <laughs> this is this is the yeah, first time. Yeah, yeah, and so he kind of looks back and like he's not no. like gonna stop you, but he's also kind of like, bitch. Like. <laughs> I'm taking his thing. Yeah, basi- basically. I'm stepping lightly over the lemon juice. You have shoes on, right? Yep. Still You're reasonably fine. Okay, that's fine. All right, and I just I'm I'm booking it. I'm walking. How many days do I got? He's walking oh, that's fast. a good question. He's on bound. I'd say we've basically established from the northern point to the southern point of this nation's about ten days I think so. walk, right? Yeah, so think. we'll give it 10 days. Well, uh, hope you guys are in for a good old 10 day trek because uh, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, heading straight yeah. through and probably taking exhaustion points. Well, actually, I'm not taking exhaustion points because uh, I'm in my favored terrain. So, are you? Why will be once I'm in the forest? Any forest. Let's see. Are you? Uh, that's a little bit of a roundabout way to get there, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you pull up the Perea East? Uh, yeah, hang on, I'm pulling it Robbie. up now. Give me a second. And I'm gonna pull it up for myself uh, as well. Hilly hills from here to there. There it is. Rouse. We got rolling hills, bro. Yeah, I mean, you could you could go to the forest, but it'd be sort of a eh, eh, kind of thing. All right, you double the back east around is up now. Well, yeah, let's just say I'm I'm booking it as much as I can. Okay, that's fine. Maybe um, not taking so many exhaustion points, but you know. So we'll say that basically, I mean, this is a suggestion. Feel free if if you feel like your character would not do this, but. Take an exhaustion point for one of the days, rest up the following day to get rid of it, take one the next day. So basically you'll get it five times yep, and lose it. That's times. basically what's happening. Okay. Um on the trip, you guys pass by um Iptor. You go over some hills, see some really nice uh shirey type land. Um mm-hmm. cool. you notice Maybe, but probably like on your fifth day, uh, fourth or fifth day, you guys start to see a lot more goblins uh, and goblin kin around the area. Um, they imagine again, like they're living this like idyllic life, but idyllic as far as goblins are concerned. So there's a lot of charm mm-hmm. and then there's something fucking weird. So like you see um, uh, gardeners and, and them making nice little homes and stuff on the outside of Habling, which is where mm-hmm. they're primarily located. Um, but then you see one just like chewing on the head of a rat because it's good food. And you're like, it just every yeah. now and then breaks the weird idyllic nature. You're like, this is adorable until it isn't. Um, hmm. I would probably on like the fourth or fifth day, um, take out the sending stone to, um, alias and just be like hey some personal shit came up we're gonna be over here you know how to find us okay bring Um, the boat around (laughs) 
he actually, yeah, that would probably be what he he would ask. He's like, so where do I need to take the ship? Hey, Red, where specifically I'm going are we to going? Aramore, but uh, hang on, let me pull up a bigger version of the map. I have it in the stream, but I can't see that thing. It is um, north. It's it's basically on the northern coast. Uh, it's a relatively cold, yeah. Um, not frozen year long, but frozen for longer than typical. I mean, seasons. There's would no be. real like <clears throat> town close to it. Uh, Ur- Urca is the closest to it, and it it adjoins the Dreadwood. Yeah. But Urca, but Urca okay. doesn't have a port, I'll just, I'll... so can't bring the. Correct. Urca is a. I'll tell him we're gonna be outside of the Dreadwood if he wants to. Come find us. Best place is okay. either Astral Elm or uh, Nagual. To... Or he could he could just be off the coast. I mean, of if he wants more. to be, you don't certainly... have to have a port. Yeah, it's up to you guys. You can tell him. You can give him specific coordinates. Your coordinates. Yeah, then I'll say like we're gonna be up in Aramore if you wanna come up here, but. Some personal stuff came up. And I'm not going to give more details. Okay. Just. Okay. So. Evermore, can you do the fandango? Um, you're about halfway through the trip. Things are getting colder. Um, you start to see snowfall and. Uh. Um, spend more time making larger heat sources at night, that kind of thing. You guys are high enough level that generally, like, anyone who sees you kind of looks at you and they're like, mm, I'm good. There, there are easier targets out there. Uh, they see the weapons and the armor and that kind of stuff, and they're like, yeah, fuck that. Uh, so you're traveling relatively easily. Is there anything that you guys would like to discuss or do on your trek up, though, during this 10-day period? I just kind of want to make note of any weird wild animals that I am unfamiliar with. Um. Any owl bears or anything weird like that? Uh, let's see. Uh. Rolled a hundred, but you needed to get under a twenty percent to uh, to see an owl bear. There are no owl bears. Oh, uh, red is is noticeably just like stone quiet the whole time. Unless no, he's stone. Yeah, I'm fucking Got blazed, bro. Four twenty. Uh, but uh. If anybody wants to ask questions, they can. I'll have to roll to see if he does anything, though, because, uh, yeah, not uh, not a thing that's happening right now, so. Sup, Red? He says nothing. I'd probably, like, partway into the trip... Uh, be like walking beside and like okay so do you want to tell us what we're walking into he's just gonna go I don't want to tell you no we will need all the information you can spare Vita wants to respect <sighs> Red's privacy but what are we getting into and what should we prepare for <sighs> Even just, is this going to be a fight or not? I can't not? tell you if it is or it isn't. I don't know how it's going to go. So do we hate your dad? Or is he the bad guy? I mean, what's the what's the deal with what we're doing? Well, I'm, I'm going to go see uh, the fucker. And we'll find out. 
I, so we don't like him, or we do. How am I supposed to know when uh, his supposed actions led to everyone being dead except for him somehow? Uh, so uh, I have no idea because uh, you know everyone's dead. Everyone is dead. I have no idea. Okay. Did this happen? Was Red absent from the area when this happened? Nope. I was right there in the middle of it all. Okay. Okay. Well, we're with you. So. Yes. For whatever that means to you. We got you. Fair back. enough. He continues to plow forward. Okay. Um, one of the days you guys get up and it is, um, yeah, it is just blizzard type conditions. Uh, it slows you down basically for a day. You do eventually arrive on Pratum to 30th, which is... On that day, I'll saber tooth tiger it okay. up. And carry someone if they want. Okay. Um, the thirtieth is uh, a day called Z Four's Justice, um, which is a holiday for Z Four, the god of justice. Um, so, if anyone has any particular affinity for that, that's a thing to be aware of. But, I'm just gonna go. Um, how fitting. Mm-hmm. Um. You get to Up them, I can't see the holiday on the calendar. I don't know. It's on the calendar. I can tinker with it later and see if maybe you have the wrong link. If it's if there's a new link or if I need to change visibility or something. I don't know. Um actually here, let me get this link and you can tell me if it works for you. So you arrive at Aramore and you kind of have that like weird feeling of um you know when you go back to a place that you haven't seen for a really long time uh that was really important to you but it's all different and wrong now you're on the outskirts of town though and you you do see a couple of uh of towers of the keep and you know fallen in structures uh, thatched roofs and that kind of stuff that didn't make it that were on top of stone walls that are still standing um uh items abandoned in the street that kind of mm -hmm. stuff relatively quiet especially with the snow on the ground so i would like to roll with? um i guess the survival check uh to see if i can identify which uh tower he would most likely be holed up in you're kind of basically trying to track him yeah kind of yeah like you know like where would where would i yeah. be in using that as where would he be you know okay go for it uh let's see i get advantage on those and with advantage it is a 19 okay um he's good you don't find anything for a while like you're kind of looking around and then just the slightest indention in the snow that was basically covered up over last night's kind of thing you're like that's a footstep for sure and it doesn't fit with any of the other stuff so it takes you a while like you're it's almost frustrating you're trying to find a lead then eventually one little thing kind of gives him away and you use that to put together it's this tower uh that's sort of on the uh, north uh eastern side of town um nothing looks amiss about it but you're very confident that's where he's holed up okay uh i'm gonna look back to the party that has followed me and kind of just give them a signal for silence uh i'm gonna look at rhythm and uh 
very quietly ask for them to pass cast without a trace. Yeah, I'll um, cast it on all of us. And now that it is cast, uh, I and anyone else who would like to, I'm going to stealthily make my way towards that tower. Uh, I would suggest that everyone else do Can the same, I... but... Before we make our way that way, can I um, cast Detect Life? Or once we once we get within range, what is... so within 30 feet of the tower, um, it just tells me if there's a living creature within 30 feet of me. The tower is easily 60 feet tall, so you would have to be okay, halfway Okay, so up. it'll be once we're kind of in mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Okay. But I'm just going to, I'm going to prep that just... Basically, since Red thought his dad was dead, and I, from the like little bits that Red has let out, know that that's the case. I just want to see if we're okay. dealing with an actual live Red's dad or a dead Red's dad, okay. or an undead Red's dad. Yeah, and depending on how Red feels about it, you could have uh, uh, dead Red Dad's redemption. Oh God! God no. damn it! No, no. Um, you were waiting on that report. But yeah, pass without a trace gives all of us a plus ten on our stealth checks. So go ahead and roll your stealth checks for me. Thirty-two. Dice twenty-eight. Oh. Hang on, I'm still rolling. Got thirty-one. Nice. Uh, 14. Plus 10. So 24. Yeah. Uh, 22. Allie cast a spell where you get to add 10 to any stealth roll, Dana, so 24. Oh, 24. Okay. Um. Would detect good and evil help with any Probably. of this? Probably not oh. yet. Okay, okay. Um, so oddly enough, so I rolled for the DC. Red is the only one who passed that stealth. Check. Oh shit! <laughs> and he and he literally just passed it. So what happens is, um, you guys make your way up the tower. Did you did you still want to use detect life, Allie, as you get up there? Um, it's yeah, detect life. So you guys yeah. kind of get like halfway up the stairs real slowly. Uh, it's stone. There's like sort of snow drifts on the inside, real cold, and you guys are kind of using that like uh, th that uh, that cold stone environment works against you almost. Like even though you're being very stealthy, all of you, there's that just sound. There's always a little bit of sound. Mm -hmm. You get to and it. Go ahead. So the spell it. Um... Let's me know if there's a living creature within 30 feet, and it also tells me where the creature's located. Okay. So, as you get about halfway up, you do notice this presence kind of come into focus through through magical means, um, and it is a it is a humanoid. It is basically standing across from where the door will be as you guys go up. Okay. Um, you guys slowly kind of go through the motions of still trying to be stealthy and as you get to the door um i'm assuming red would be leading this yes right okay as you get to the door you feel like the point of an arrow kind of scratch your head just a little bit yep and then you hear red as he realizes, because you're the only one who passed the stealth, he didn't know you were with them. As he realizes, oh shit, I've got a bow to your head. And he, like, immediately, you know, withdraws and, and steps back and just kind of stares at you with the bow, like, down. I have both of my short swords drawn as um, I enter the door. I'm... Okay. Just, like, like not, not, I'm not holding faced out, but just set aside. To my mace because i don't okay. i don't know genuinely don't know what to expect 
uh, you know, the last time anything with any of this happened, uh, I was lying face down with dead bodies on top of me. Okay. And just to be safe, as Red opened the door and I kind of heard that, I'm just holding on to my mace and I activate the, um what's called resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage for everyone around okay. me. Uh, I think it's Guanji. Yeah, Guanji. Um, yeah, so he, he just kind of stands there stunned. He expected intruders that, you know, he was able to perceive, uh, didn't pick up on red, obviously, uh, and does not know what to do in this moment. He just kind of stands there staring at you. I am uh, kind of just doing the same back. Because I'm okay. processing. Uh, waiting for him to make the first move, basically. So there is a long pause. Very awkward, very tense. Of red... And someone who looks a fair amount like Red just staring at each other on the top floor of a tower in a snowy, ruined town. The environment is silent, unsure what to do in the face of this tension. You don't hear a bird. You don't hear wind. <laughs> it is just stone silence for easily three minutes and you know how that is when you're standing in silence like three minutes feels like a fucking eternity and so he he eventually just kind of like comes to and he's like it's um it's good to see you son good to see me you couldn't have said that 25 years ago No. Couldn't have said it five years ago? Couldn't have said it ten years ago? I, I, I didn't know where you were after a while. A man like you <clears throat> can't track down one person. Uh, the forest are home, not the world. The world is just, just metal forests. It's all the same. Well... There's so much you don't know. Well, then tell me. I've been trying to figure it out for years. Ain't nobody been helping me. I pull out a candle. <laughs> and I like that bitch. And I whisper some weird... Un un I don't know what the words are, but I whisper them into the candle as I cast Fire Truth. Do you explain what you're doing to Red, or are you just doing it? I'm doing it. Okay. I just look back at Gaius, and I'm like, the fuck? Sometimes you gotta... You gotta know the truth. What are you talking about? Don't worry about it. I'm kind of worrying about everything right now. <laughs> Do you not... Guys, you're not being helpful. Explain yourself. Please, everyone, use no. He tells a lie. I'll know if he does. Fair enough. I turn back. He slowly, like, unknocks the arrow, basically being very deliberate to let you know he doesn't mean a threat. Puts it back in his quiver, puts the bow over his shoulder, and he goes to this, like, makeshift kind of chair. He moves relatively slowly, older man, uh, kind of like grabs onto a knee and, and sits down and he goes, I'll be honest with you, I, I gave up searching for you when I took on the search for the man who did this. Why, why would you do that? 
I wasn't there. You knew I wasn't dead. I mean, oh, you thought man that with I, your skills. You thought that I was dead. Uh, yeah, I was a child. And until I could make this right, I preferred you to think I was dead. Well, okay. we could make that happen, but what are you talking about this man? Red, how'd you find out about what happened? I mean, aside from living it, where did the details come from? From pieces I've put together over the years. Acquaintances, people who no traveled, one... who came through the town. No one lived? Yeah. Who, who would have told? Any number. You can come back through the town. You can see what happened. You can look at... You can see where the red caps came from. You can see a man with with fairly astute tracking and logic can put the pieces together. Hamlet, you are literally sitting on my journal. <laughs> I'm doing something, sir. There's a <laughs> pair of ears just at the bottom <laughs> of your skirt. Yeah, just at the camera. Can you sit over here for me, please? No, Papa. My bust must my butt must be on the most important thing. Unfortunately, the stream cannot see those ears because they're covered up by the banner that says DM. Yeah. Um, by the banner. Come on. Come this way. I suppose I'm. There's a, there's a Go. tail. Tail. Sit down. <laughs> Thank you. Good boy. All right. In, in the early years, did you speak to a man named Sir, uh, Nir Sareg? Yes. He's the one who told you, isn't he? He didn't really offer up much of anything. It was more me putting the pieces together. In he offered up enough. So that the story became that your mother had a lover and that your father was violent. Right? Yes. That's who I'm hunting. Near. It's not one of us. He came from the Feywild. And he wanted the forest for himself. Aramor stood in his way. And he found a way to get rid of it. And that way was? He, he sits there kind of like trembling a little bit. You see like the bottom of his, his eyes start to get red and he's like, killed your mother son how and why he needed blood he needed blood there were any number of other people he could have taken that from yeah she was the one he found first it wasn't planned it's was just Opportunity. He's just taking it all in. Yeah. He's, is, is everything he's saying truth? Yeah, the, to the flame is not giving any indication that he's lying. Okay. Where did we say he was? Sereg? Near Sereg. Yeah. His name is N-I-R-S-E-R-E-G. 
Yeah, near Sarek, yeah. Near Automata. Got it. Now I'm trying to put it together and see what you're trying to say with that because your names are all, are just something mixed up. Look up Old English. I don't want to do that. That's too much work. Fair enough. I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell it? N-I-R. N-I-R. And then S-E-R-E-G. I feel like Visa's more invested in it. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but... <laughs> no, it's true. I'm very invested in this. You've been tight lipped about red. Yeah. I like that. We've been planning. Yeah. We've been planning this. No, Rhythm's like Rhythm has not let go of the handle of her mace. She's just like got her hand behind her back grasping it, like yeah. ready just in case this goes south. Yeah. Or if something like puts her off, but she's like She's holding on to it, but she's watching Red's facial expressions to see. Okay. Yeah. It's, if things are it's going not... south. S E R E G. Yeah. Is it all one word? No. Yeah, it does. We'll get there. There are probably there are probably weird markings that are important for it. I see um, near Sarig, S A R I G. That I may maybe an alternative spelling for it. Mm, no, I'm sorry, it's not coming up. Give me, <laughs> give me the name again for Sarig. S E R E G. Yep. That. Honestly, sounds really familiar, and I don't know what witchy thing is making me think of it. But yeah, let's let's well let's continue on, as I as I stand there, processing. Okay. Um. Yeah, he he starts. I mean, he wants to kind of give you space to think through all of this. Sorry, I'm checking my own dictionary and I'm not finding it either. I have a, a different dictionary I was using, but I think it got taken down or something offline. Um, yeah, that's what I've got. N I R and then S E R E G. And again, there may be because old English always has the weird markings and shit over. There may be very specific markings for it. So, but uh, as this, yeah, okay. after processing, uh, everyone's gonna see Red just turn around and start heading down the stairs, and he's heading for the last known place that he saw near Sereg, which is gonna be many years ago, and he's not going to be there. But he doesn't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. Roll a history check. Also, I should tell you guys that Hamlet is trying desperately to roll these dice. Let him roll. He's like <laughs> sticking his paw down in the box. He's like, I want to... Let him roll. Give him a die. Uh, my history check is only a 12. That's good enough. It happened to you, so the DC's not that high. Um, you, I mean, you stand there for a while, kind of racking your brain, and then you remember just casually as a young adult meeting this traveler um, an Eladrin who came out of the forest to stay in Nogwal. Um, he sees you and takes an interest in you as a shifter. And he's like, Oh, you don't see me, you know, any shifters around this place, blah, blah, blah. And it turns into a whole conversation. And eventually he's like, Oh, well, you know what happened out there. Right. And he, basically explains he goes yeah so red caps are this and it starts coming together like this is what really started you on the right path of figuring out that it was red caps in the first place and that it was probably your dad that did this and that kind of stuff yeah hmm. but yeah red's red's just he doesn't know what to do so he's only doing the thing that he knows how to do unless anyone wants to stop him from doing that I'll just follow Red as, like, 
if the rest of the party wants to hang with his dad. Well, I, I, that's I figure fine, he's going to get stopped gonna... by his dad anyway. Do we want to reveal what his dad's name is? It's up to well, you. I mean... You, uh, you I was going to say... You can do it in, in, in game. I'm just going to... I'm going to ask. What, what is your name? Rot. Rut as in R-O-T? R-O-T. He's just going to turn his... Red's going to turn his head around. He goes, it's an, it's, it's an old dialect. It's, it's red again. It's just... It's an older dialect. An old dialect named yeah. German. <laughs> <laughs> what is the nature of this near Sereg? What, what else does... Rot know of him. Red's gonna Red's gonna peek his head up again, because he's heading for the door. But yeah, he's gonna yeah. I, I tracked him for a while, fought off his minions and compatriots. So he's connected enough to have people. Is he in charge of said people, or is he part of a confederacy? The Fae always have friends. Oh, right. This is Fae stuff. Joy. He, um... He kept trying to take this place. I wouldn't let him. When I figured it out, I... And he kind of gets, like, angry and, and shaky a little bit. He's like, I, I wouldn't... As he, as, he, as he senses the, the anger and the shaking, he's going to go like, Well, you're still alive. Where were you during the whole thing? Where were you in the three days that I was laying underneath dead bodies? The first day, I was out tracking. I smelt the fire. It came back. First thing I thought was to act. I didn't look for you, and I'm sorry. I started looking for who did this. The red caps got put down, but I couldn't find who brought them here. Did he ever... Did you ever learn why? He wanted this. He wanted the dra He wanted the Dreyer Wood, and he wanted this town. But why? Right. The Dreyer Wood is special. A lot of fey in the Dreyer Wood. Does this have to do with the Dreyer Wood in particular, or does this have to do with politics back in the Fey Wild? I think, Perhaps both. I think it's a little bit of both, yeah. Hmm. So, I wanted more territory. Hmm. It's always nice to get your own plot of land, make your own rules. This was somebody else's plot of land already, though. Yeah, the question, there are fey all over. There are pockets throughout the world. Why necessarily here? They just like the Dreyer Wood, and he was the most ambitious, I guess. Red, is there... Red, you spent time out there. You know. Oh, I know. They just want the whole forest. You know? One acre is never as... Two acres is better than one. The Fae, uh... Are very self-serving. They want what they want. They don't care who's in the way. I don't know what's going on in the Feywild. I haven't been there in a while. Don't plan to go back until I can finish it off. Where's Barley when you need him? Hmm. Uh. Yeah. I'll, um, it's been a couple days, so I'll pull out. Uh, 
No, I'm going to save it, but once once we have some time to ourselves, I'll pull out the thing, and I imagine in our narrative elements, Barley's hanging out with Alias on the ship. Just be like, hey, but what's up? We're going to we're gonna have some narrative stuff happen for Barley to explain the break. Just like yeah. you guys will have your own quests. So. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. But no, he would possibly be helpful right now. I think what bothers me most, Ruts, is if you knew your son was not among the dead, how could you stop searching? Nothing nothing should have been of higher import than that. How can I claim to take care of something that I can't protect? I wasn't here. I didn't do anything. I was too late. And for a while I thought he was dead. Until eventually I came back. There was no body here. So I hoped. I didn't know. But I figured he was better at taking care of himself than I was. The least I could do is get rid of the problem that put him in this situation. But I haven't done that but yet for either. For this long? For this for this long, you... As long as it takes. Hmm. I hear excuses, not reasons. Reasons Rich is gonna reasons. speak over. Just go, where's his last location? Where did you track him to? He's been gone for a while. But, um, last couple of weeks, some of the folks I know they said, he's, said he's in Aora. Somewhere in the north. South of Celador, but higher than Ayla. They think he wants to do it again. Different town? Yeah. Is there something to be gained in specifically murdering people to gain control? Why not just frighten the people away? Why not teleport them? Why the bloodshed? Some of his friends require it. Oh, who might that be? Hey, Perhaps I'm, something I'm trying to infernal? find those on the map real quick. So, North Aora. At the very tip top where the money shot is of the island hey. there's a place called Celador in the middle of it there's the capital Ayla and there's like this streak that goes up a forest a very I'm large to forest find that place hang on I'm... how far would you say that is may not uh, if you go straight from Nogwall Maybe a week and a half's worth of sailing. How far by air? Because I can fly now. There it is. Um, probably the same because Cog's in charge of the ship. But I, I can fly. Yes, you can. I know. I, know. <laughs> I somehow Cog. don't have any maps of Aora. I have the big map of it, but you don't have North Aora. Uh -huh. I have Weird. the the main map, and I see that that's why I couldn't find it because I could see Ayla and Celador and stuff, but I I don't have the yeah. So basically, in between those two places, is the last thing you okay. have, which is a lot of land. Yeah, that's a big forest. It's like saying it's like saying you're somewhere between Virginia and Florida. I don't want to go there. I still have no idea where it is. The very western part of the main map of everything. Aora. The pink. There you go. Aora. 
shit, dude. Oh, I get it. The world's Wrapped around around the world. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. is apparently thing we need to fucking affirm that the world is round. Have you? But in case anyone was wondering, have you seen <laughs> this map though? It obviously, is flat. I actually did try to like put it over a globe, and I realized I forgot <laughs> to actually map out the Arctic caps, and so it just looks fucking weird as shit. So I need to remake the map, and then I can actually put it on a. <laughs> A gif of a globe so you guys can see it that way but nice anyway that's a one day when i catch up on all the other well, shit i'm doing project he'll be long gone by the time i get there or he'll be completely reinforced by the time i get there <sighs> don't worry about it i since I know he's not coming for here, I'll come for him. He'll be gone by the time you. Well, there's some He'll bonding be gone by time. the time you get there. I don't think so. I think he already has help. Now, where is this again? What's you motherfucker! In Aora. It, it's in Aora, but like, did he, was he no, specific about it? No, it's in now? Aora, that's what you know. Northern Aora. All okay. those woods yeah. north of Ayla? Okay. Yeah. I thought you might have said Celador or whatever. It's south of Celador, north of Ayla. So was he successful here? Would we call... His work completed, or no. was Roth able able to stop it? I, I I've been fighting him and the Fae for for decades. I swore they wouldn't have this place, and damn it, they have it. You can accomplish oh. a lot sitting on top of a high place with the true shot. Did they I... necessarily want it, or did they simply want to decimate it? Because if the latter, they did succeed. Uh, you're not wrong there. They'd come back every few years, though. I think. I think they liked this area close to the wood, but not quite in it. It's more manageable. Mm -hmm. you guys kind of look down uh, you do see you guys are literally on the border of the Dreyer wood like you see snow topped trees dead trees mm -hmm. and evergreens and stuff uh, like less than quarter of a mile away from where you're, where you're there's a reason why this tower was put here now just out of game did you name Celador hey, after, uh, <laughs> shut up. Did you name Celador after Celador? Uh, not exactly. I named it after the way that, uh, Tolkien in the movie Tolkien pr pronounced Celador. And he said it should I be see. a place, but it never actually was in the Tolkien. Did you, are you sure you didn't name it after Celadon City from Pokemon? Cause it is the grass gym and it's in a forest. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I can promise the you. The easiest gym, by the way. What? That's the easiest gym. Unless you got the water Pokemon. Easiest gym I know is my uncle, because he's a slut. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that about him. Really? No. He cheats on literally everyone, like daily. Oh, we're getting some... Like any opportunity, Getting some family can. gossip here now. Yeah, fuck him. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Except don't like you shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, because he'll cheat on you. And we're pretty sure he <laughs> has a child that he doesn't claim. Um, Who doesn't? I, yeah, I don't say most Me. of us oh, here. Well, oops. <laughs> I said most. 
Yeah, no, do your thing. I'm just saying most of us are really avoiding that one. Uh, but you guys want to take a quick break since it is about that time. We can come back and yeah. all right. unfurl Red's all trauma. Right. Yeah. We're going to take a break in three, unfurl. two, one. Hey, everybody. It's me, your DM for our more RPG, Brian. We're taking a break right now. Some of us are probably going to use the bathroom, get a snack. Sarah's probably having a mental breakdown. I want to take this moment to make sure that we remind you to hit the follow button if you haven't already. If you'd like to continue seeing us play Dungeons and Dragons in my homebrew world, Monday nights at 7 p.m. we're playing Dungeons and Dragons in Almora. Um, we are that's a homebrew world. It's 100% uh, created by me for this group of people. On Friday nights we get together and just talk about stuff. It's a disaster usually. It's worth watching. Um, it's one of those kind of train wreck situations. You really want to tune in for that. That starts at 8 p.m. on Friday nights. In upcoming Wednesdays, or maybe by the time you're seeing this video, it will have already started, uh, Robbie is going to be hosting his own sessions in Yalmora, which is um, a Guy Fieri-based homebrew world that he's been working on. Um, also probably a disaster. Totally worth watching. And then here and there, we'll play video games just as we have time. Take a moment to uh, hit subscribe, especially if you have Prime. You can do a Prime subscription. It doesn't cost you anything, and we get supported that way. We also have a link tree in our in our thing down here. We've got YouTube if you want to catch up on the old episodes. We have Instagram. We've got Facebook. We've got Twitter. We also have Buy Me a Coffee if you don't want to do a subscription on Twitch. Uh, I think it's $3. It just sends us a little bit of support. And what we're trying to use that for is to help grow the channel. Uh, Ali is someone who does most of our social media and a lot of our other behind the scenes work and we're trying to uh, work together as a group to bring in enough money to get her a better computer because hers is um, it's doing pretty poorly. We are trying to um, help Sarah out with another computer because she's the one that she's had she's had since college back in 2011 and she is our digital design person. She'd like to continue doing artwork for us and that kind of stuff. Um, and we want to support her in doing that. It also goes to pay for subscriptions. Um, we use D&D Beyond, we use Fantasy Grounds, and eventually we would like to get to the point to where it's paying us to continue doing this for you guys. Um, I spend way more time than I probably should uh, writing for this world, not just for the campaign, but I'm also working on side projects, uh, short stories, and, and things like that. We've got Robbie who spends a ton of time setting up the tech for this, making sure that the stream is run clear and that you guys can hear everything. Um, everyone's kind of pulling in and using their own resources to do this and your support helps us do that even better. So if you like what you're seeing, uh, you wanna to continue to support stream, there are tons of ways to do it. There's probably a good few more minutes before we will be back and ready to continue whatever we're doing at this moment. It's probably stupid, but um, funny nonetheless. We will be back in a few minutes. You'll see a screen. Just sit here, take a break, go use the bathroom, get a snack for yourself. I don't know, check on your mom, see how she's doing, your partner, you got cats. Anyway, we'll be back in a few minutes.
Okay. <laughs> hey, we're going to talk about stuff later. I just saw a blank still. screen. I was like, hey, we got to go back. <laughs> the screen's blank. <laughs> all right. Everyone should be back. Okay. Um. So, first of all, uh, if there is a punk rock-ish musician, what is he, a bass player? Hey, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. In the Charlotte area talking oh, shit Charlotte. about Dana, just understand... We have nothing to fucking lose, all right? And you apparently think that you do. You don't, because you're you. But for some reason, you hold that in high esteem, and you shouldn't. We'll fucking kill you. And also, we'll break your knee whatever necks. band you're in, I promise you, uh, hey, guys who's in the band with them, just hire me. I show up all the time, and I'm probably way better. Yeah. And don't, don't get us wrong. If you want someone who's going to make you uncomfortable, Robbie is still your guy. But he will be less problematic in the process. You tell me where to go. You tell me what we're playing, and I show up, and we just do it. Tell him who to fart on. On command, the dude can do it. Let's go. <laughs> you think I'm joking? He's got like a machine gun asshole. They're usually they're usually little farts, <laughs> the same way that like SMG bullets are. But he's got a fucking full clip of them. Sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Full spray. Burp. Got it. <laughs> also, just as a point of clarification, I was confused. I looked on the wrong list. The reason we could not find the translation to the uh, near Sereg is because it's Sindarin, not Old English. Close, not the same. Uh, one is a fantasy language based on the other one. So, anyway. Um, so, yeah, Red. Yeah. Uh, Sort of standing tensely in the tower. Yeah, I. What am I? I, Red's just kind of standing there because he doesn't know what to do next. Okay. He's uh he um, doesn't like uh. Not having a place to go. Sure. Hmm. Ro so Roat kind of ignores everybody and and speaks directly to Red and says. Listen, I'm going to find them, or I'm going to perish. I think either one of those ends is satisfactory to both of us. You better stop clanking that spoon in the middle of this fucking epic speech. <laughs> you better start drinking, drinking that soup again. I'm just fucking with you, but go ahead. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sarah was here earlier after work and she ate a bowl of cereal and every time she would eat it, she would let the spoon hit her teeth. And apparently I'm autistic because I cannot do that. It will ruin my fucking day. If the spoon touches my teeth, I want to die. It has to go directly <laughs> no. to the tongue. If I'm eating with a fork and it touches my tooth, I'm like, I'm, I have to fucking burn myself. <laughs> I have to burn my flesh the off. Tip of, I don't know why. It just drives me insane. The tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lips. The tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lips. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's what that reminded me of. Uh, he he says, was, he know. says, I'll I'll die or I'll perish. Those, Either way, those I think. Are the, it's just the same thing. I know. I'm I'm repeating it because it was interrupted, Robert. And now you're gonna hear it again. This is Far Cry all over again. <laughs> you just shoveled the speaker and now they're going to get up and they're going to say the entire fucking speech again no no brian brian God, he, was yeah. actually, he was actually making a good point you said he will die or oh you're right i didn't perish. get a lot of sleep last night i'm i'm irritable and confused uh i apologize but go fuck yourself rob uh, <laughs> uh happy birthday <laughs> Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Rob. Happy, bur happy birthday, Raven. I, I was, I was, like an hour away from freedom. No, no. One day of freedom. <laughs> Never. No, your one day of freedom is the day that we don't stream. Yeah. You have multiple days of freedom. Those don't count. I need to be free on the days that you got. You guys got to fuck up one day. Yeah, fuck nah. up just one time. I'm just gonna All right. Yes. I win. Impossible. Nah. What's going on? So yeah, he says, uh, uh, he'll die or I'll perish. Either way, satisfactory result for us. Hey, man. I know a thing about revenge. I went on my own revenge quest. Uh, I got my arm chopped off. This one right here. And, uh, yeah. Don't recommend it. Sometimes you don't Hey, guys, it's kind of hard to tell someone your hands got chopped off when your hand's right there. Just a heads up. Hey, oh, guys. I mean, this this isn't revenge. Uh, there. This, this is more so, uh, justice. Cause uh, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. It's it's not it's not just <laughs> justice though. Though he's right, it is also about justice. But he's still out there. Look out those windows. This was a home. Those were people, families. He took all of them. And he still lives. Much like the people who tried to ransack my hometown. I get it. Why did they do it? I'm going to just, in character, but out of character, like, why are you making everything about Good. you, guys? <laughs> I'm trying to relate. Trying to help him understand it. He that... He kind of gives you a, a, a look over and he goes, Paul Sian, right? Yeah. About the Valerians? Mm -hmm. That's what you do. We were a peaceful people. That's why we came so far north. To get away. To be left alone. Shifters didn't have a safe place. They came to us. Because they wanted the dirt beneath our feet. They wanted all we had. What? Not, it was. not that you're wrong. Not that you're incorrect or anything, but like... What makes you so sure it was about the land itself and not destroying this culture? This community? Uh... Because that succeeded. I'm not saying it wasn't both, but they've come back several times. Why do that when we were gone? To make sure. Well. They're fae. They 
probably know that some of you survived. It sounds like one of them spoke to Red here. He knows. Just one point of order. My hometown, uh, they weren't warriors. They were in a part of Hulk Rob, quit making shit about you, bro. Strategically important. Also, your lore's wrong. Your hometown is warrior. <laughs> everyone in Hoss is a warrior. I mean, no, everyone in Hoss. They were. Everyone in Hoss has enforced conscripted military time. Oh, okay. That's Men, women, children. Yes. Every single but person. But either is way, Evanstone was. Evanstone was not like the most strategic, important place because there were. I figured it out. Other I figured it out. Then. Rob's fucking tonight. He's fucking me. Yeah. Listen, the poor strategy on the part of the Valerians has nothing to do with their motivations. We can argue mm -hmm. about whether or not they could have killed you better I, all day. The fact is they killed I'm you just saying. and you killed them and that's what you've done for millennia. We tried mm -hmm. to get away. I feel you. I understand. I'm just trying to say that sometimes vengeance can be blinding. That's, that's all I'm saying. And some people say but that I'm justice saying, already is blind. Oh, shit. Mic drop. That is certainly true. And I'm not saying by any means that I want to stop you. It's just I want to let you know that this path is sometimes more self-destructive than constructive. I'm not... I mean, that's self-explanatory, Gaius. He's been hiding up here in this tower while he knew his son was alive. All right. Let we are just reading this man to filth all at once. This, <laughs> this is rough to watch. Let's let's look at this objectively. I failed in every facet of my life. I'll have this one success. Your success should have been finding your son when you knew he was alive. Again failed in every facet of my life unless one of you has gone to the university and learned time magic and can go back and help me choose a better path this is what i have left. red's just gonna look at everyone and kind of just do this just do the just just bring it down just bring it down he's gonna notice you basically like calming it down and he's gonna give you a really earnest look and just be like i can't undo I'm sorry. We're sorry. If there's if there's anything I can do to make this easier for you, to heal any harm I've done, all you have to do is say. But this is my task. I mean... Sorry, say that again. I'm still not... He, he said, I'm sorry if there's anything that he can do, let him know. But this is his task. This is the one thing he's got. I don't... I don't know what he can do. I don't... I mean... There, there, there may be nothing, and I accept that. And I apologize. But if you need me, you have me. Fair enough. All I ask is that you bring back a piece of him so we know he's gone. It's hot. The hot has gone. Guys, shut the fuck up. <laughs> that was Rob. That was Guys. Guys is about to get uh, Jamie Lannister out the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> 
Fenestration! <laughs> How could you do that to me? Game of Thrones is a good show until the end. That's what they all say. It is but, what they all say. Uh, uh, we could talk about that later. <laughs> Someone, someone has been talking about that on TikTok, making some very reasonable points because basically the show moved from a sociological focus to a psychological focus, and it made no fucking sense. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's all I can really say is, uh, bring a piece of them back. Yeah, I will. Sure, we can't help. I'm I'm willing to help. Are you headed to Aora soon? No. We can go there right now. We are not. Hey, look. We, we don't exactly have plans. Except to do personal shit with all God of us. God damn it, Rob. We don't have plans except for all of the plans that we have. <laughs> that's, that's literally <laughs> what you just said. I know. <laughs> I know. Right. Come on. I speak the truth when it's most obvious. <laughs> Is that flaming candle? Sorry, I gotta blow this thing out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Right. Uh. I mean, I don't. Right, as as red, I don't know where to go from here, other than say, you know. I'm saying we could go there if we needed to. Like, if it was like, hey, let's do it now, then I, I think we could if we need to. Red, Red's not wrong. It will take time to find him without being obvious. If you find yourselves there, I think he's the only person in the world who could find me. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You can help. You can watch. Do whatever you want to. If you find yourself there, feel free to reach out. I'm just going to look at him and, you know, just be like, I'll see you in another 25 years. If that, you know. You know, if you get him, bef if you get him before then, I'll... You said to assume that you're still dead. Until he's gone, you are dead. It's fair. I don't think it'll be 25 years, though. Because I don't think I've got that much left in me. Not as a shifter, you don't. <laughs> nope. You got like five. If, if yeah. And that's a very hard five. Right. That's just that's just the spike keeping him going yeah. at that point. Shifters don't live very long, in case you don't know. Mm -mm. I'm already basically close to middle age. At like 25. At like, mm -hmm. yeah, 25, 27, whatever. Yeah. So. But, uh. Yeah, I mean. I don't really know where to go from here as far as what we had discussed, Brian, so I don't really know. Well, it's up to you guys. He, he'll he offer you guys a place to stay for the night if you want to. You can decline or, or trade stories I mean, with him. We can definitely know? stay the night since you're already here. I think it's safe to say. This is Rhythm. Uh, I think it's safe to say we're following your lead here, Red. Whatever you're comfortable with, mm -hmm. we'll do. Hell, Red's just going to sit down in the corner like he always does. And he says, yeah. in the morning, we'll head... I'm making waffles. God damn it, Rob, shut he's up. Like, uh, he's, you know, in the morning, we'll... <laughs> We'll head back towards <laughs> Rhythm's Village. Oh god, I loved this detour. That was 
such a nice distraction from the fact that I'm going home. Um. <sighs> yeah, he'll he'll happily spend uh, the evening just kind of catching up on the last twenty five years, the highlights, uh, hearing about what you guys have been up to. Um, you hear you, it's obvious. You hear over the corner. You hear. Do you like baseball? <laughs> Does your mother used to frequent dockside bars? Um, it's the old G.I. Joe. Joe. <laughs> um, yeah, you, it's obvious to everyone there that like this is the the first time in a long time Rot's face has seen a smile. He is extraordinarily proud of Red, despite his own shortcomings. He's, like, relieved almost that his failure didn't hurt another person kind of thing. Um, as things are winding down... Did it? Did it? Come on, Robbie. Did it? Does it hurt? Guys, shut what? the fuck up. Does it hurt, Red? Yeah, Rob, you are all over everybody's shit lately. You gotta stop. Let right. other people have their character times. We have been focused on your fucking arm for like six months, okay? <laughs> Give other people space. You have a whole goddamn graphic novel coming out as a result of what your fucking arm did. Give people a chance. All right. But not peace. Don't give peace uh, a chance. Fuck that shit. D&D &D would be boring otherwise. All right, so um, <laughs> he, toward, as the night winds down, Robbie, uh, he goes to Red and he goes, Do you mind if we walk out toward the wood just for a moment? Have a have a private word. Are we gonna play catch? No, I'm joking. But uh, Red just walk, starts walking. He doesn't say anything. Uh, you bring your friend. Kind of nods at Herschel. Herschel's following along already. Anyway, Herschel's kind of like uh, I'm not going yeah. anywhere. Uh, or I'm not s separating. I guess. Yeah. Sure. Um, you guys get basically like without, without a way of out of there earshot. You go. That's what there you go. Going for. Out of earshot of the tower. You're getting close to the wood. Um, I'll keep an eye on the window. Just not Allie, quite. Allie's up there. She pulls out yet. her guitar and she's going, come to my window. <laughs> I, Allie's doing the, uh, the nosy neighbor thing like basically yeah it's like oh what put, are you doing what puts you up doing two cloths it? just to pull them aside and look. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um so anyway but but rot does pull you aside and uh he looks over at her and he looks at you and he goes how'd you um how'd you come across this one ah you know hunts you come across he found you? He found me. Have you ever noticed anything off about him? Yeah, his whole thing. Yeah. He left the woods, followed you. Yes. <laughs> I've, been, I've been hunting the Fae for a long time. They did something to your friend here. And I think I know what it is. What's that? Everything happened. Everything happened before I could teach you all I know. I'm. I'm more proud than I can say to see that you picked up stuff that even I don't know. But there's a tradition. Sorry, I One immediately the... started singing Fiddler on the Roof. My bad. Uh... Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> There's a tradition of uh, an alliance, you might say. Have, have you made it up to uh, Bitten Rodor? Yes, we have been there. We, um, we help them out when they need it. And I, I think your cat was not supposed to be a cat. But he's a cat. Yeah. 
and body. Do you mind? And he's going to kind of like kneel down toward Herschel and kind of like gingerly put out a hand. Okay. Does Herschel respond positively or? Yeah. Yeah. He just, he, Herschel knows what's up. Okay. Um, and I would hope that Herschel knows what's about to happen. Probably. I mean, because yeah, probably if this is part of who he is. Yeah. So, um, Herschel kind of like, I, I would imagine curious, like, okay, are we, are we finally figuring this shit out? I, I haven't figured <laughs> um, it out because I have no fucking clue because right. Lost arts and all that. So, right. So, um, he, he kind of like pets Herschel for a while and then he kind of puts his head to Herschel's forehead and basically starts saying, um, like you, it, it you've heard people cast dispel magic and it's not unlike that, but it's also not the same. Mm. Um, roll an arcana check. Uh, what's my number on that? Hang on. Shit. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, dirty 20. Yeah. So you piece together that this is specifically something to get rid of fey magic. And as he stands up, you look at Herschel and what level are you guys know? Okay. You look at Herschel and notice that his snout is a little bit longer and there are wings on his back where there is fur. There are now scales. There are claws in the ground more articulated than before. And Herschel kind of looks at you like, Hey. Uh, yeah. Hey, Dad, I'm out of the closet. Turns out I'm a Drake. As long as you're that kind of Drake and not the other kind of Drake. Yeah. No, not the pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> that escalated quickly. I'm just watching this from the window, and I'm like... They are fuck. pretty far away. Holy Roll fuck. a perception check to see if you actually... Can tell the difference oh. yet. It is night. It went from a pink. Look, here's the thing. But, but it's the same we are size. Bo- He's around the we same size. We are both size. trackers and shifters. We can hide from you if we want to. That's a fucking okay, nat 20. Fine, I fine. see that shit. That's a okay. 26. <laughs> <laughs> guys wanted to tell a story. I'm fine with it as long as it's the dice. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Go ahead. You were saying. She's like, holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit! What? what? Um, Herschel can fly now. What? That's yeah. easy. What? Herschel, Herschel can fly. There's wings. There are wings. There are wings on Herschel. He's not. He's not a pit. He's a. He's. He is something with wings. I, I imagine yeah. like children in a classroom. Everybody's just fucking bum rushing <laughs> to the window. Like, yeah, yeah fully. <laughs> <laughs> right over there on the edge of the forest. Spider climbs so they can climb up the wall and look through the higher part of the window. Okay. Just. The, uh... <laughs> you keep doing shit to me, Brian. <laughs> uh, it's it's this is not this should not be surprising. You cast a spell. Okay. <laughs> and. It... It. And it did. What are you gonna do to it me? Did wild magic surge. So let's find out what happens. Hopefully, something very mundane. Um, because the, we yeah, there's a bunch die. of other stuff happening here. So Vita finally TPKs everyone. Um, everyone but Red and Herschel. That's right. I didn't hear what you said. Correct. I know you said TPK after I go back and read read it in my head, but I thought you were going to say, "Oh, Vita, it's finally time for Vita to pee pee all over everyone." And I'm like, "What? No, no, <laughs> please, no, that did not please, enter my mind. No, but that's that's certainly a choice." Uh, so so Vita, <laughs> you're you are just peering uh-huh. in, and then you start to glow like this very bright greenish light. Oh, not again. Oh, well, this is not as bad as other things. Yeah. 
God damn it, Vita, you're making it hard to see through the window. Vita is sorry, it will go away. There's a do, there's a do, glare, Vita. Oh right, oh right. Vita, Can I roll to, to see if uh red and rot uh, I think the tower's a lighthouse uh notice that there's light in the fucking tower now? Yeah, roll a perception check. I get advantage on those. Oh, fuck. I don't notice <laughs> at all. You were you were dialed in to your friend. Yeah, because my highest was a total of seven on an advantage roll. I have no idea. Sure. Um, Rot is is sort of looking, smiling at at Herschel still, um, and then he kind of looks to you and he goes, um. There's not enough time to teach you all of it, but there was enough time to write it all down. And he pulls out the small journal. It's, you know, relatively straightforward. It is a hunter's journal, basically. Yeah. He hands it to you and he goes, that, that should answer some questions. Welcome to Supernatural. <laughs> your dad just gave you a journal. Uh, go ahead and change your subclass <laughs> to Drake Warden. All right, I will. After, you know, I'll work on all that shit, uh, you know, because it's going to take a while to move everything and do Fair all the shit. But, yeah, I will do that as, yeah, there's now a Drake Warden. Yeah. So. Uh, he, he sort of, like, hands it to you and he goes, I meant what I said. I'm aware of my mistakes. I'm not aware of a way to fix them. But I am proud of you. If that's worth anything. Red just holds out a hand. He takes it. He like almost, he chokes a little bit and he takes it. Puts his other hand on it, shakes it really firmly and he goes, and That's it. You're a good man. And they start to, yeah, turn around and walk away. Do, and now they notice the light. In the tower. Yeah. And he's going to lean over and go, I didn't realize you were in a lighthouse. He goes, I, um, that's not... Half the time I don't even use fire. I don't know what that is. Uh, and they're just going to keep making their way back up to the to the tower. Uh, I think with the Drake... Herschel, the Drake Warden... Herschel is going to immediately fly up toward the tower and test out those yeah. recovered wings. Because I think with the Drake Warden, like, it's like a spirit of a dragon as well now. And so, like, you know, he can just, like, appear or disappear as I... Yes. So. Yes. Um, you can basically summon them. It, it It's uh, it's very much so like uh, um, Driss Dorden's relationship with uh, uh, Guinevere. Mm. But uh, <clears throat> pop in and out of, of uh, another plane. But for now, we'll say that Herschel is just kind of hanging out yeah. and getting used to things. As you read the journal, you'll learn ways to dismiss and, and summon and all yep. that stuff. So. We return to the top of the tower. You guys see Herschel claw right, through guys, the guys, window they're instead. Coming back. Be cool, be cool. Yeah, like as they're he walking is... in, Herschel is just like clumsily clawing through the little window. Like, hey, look what I can fucking do, kind of thing. <laughs> Still kind of the cat <laughs> mentality. Does does casting speak with animals still work? Uh, yeah. I think I also I learned draconic now. Yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah, we'll say that's part of the journal. Lore-wise. Yeah, so I, I just, I cast speak with animals. I'm just like, holy shit, Herschel! Yeah. Always you good. You fly! Okay, well, for the months that we've been traveling with you, you couldn't, so always is relative. For the simple-minded, sure. Don't be a dick just because you're a dragon now. Attitude. <laughs> this is cool. You can't handle me at my worst. You don't deserve me at my best. <laughs> I loved you at your worst. Okay? I love this Tober Boy version of Herschel. <laughs> this is great. This what version? <laughs> he's bringing the fight. I mean, he's he's a he's he's a Drake now. He's, I he's love kinda, you at you know, your worst. Dragonish. 
they they have it. This is fucking awesome. Is all I'm saying. Okay. I'm so happy for hey, you. Hey, Hershey's gonna go. I know I'm awesome. <laughs> oh well, fuck you. And I'm gonna turn into a. Eagle. Herschel's going to race you. <laughs> Uh, do you have uh, opportunity to look at Herschel's new stats, Robbie? Uh, I can. Let me pull up stuff. Because uh, I right, think he's so, just a Drake um, block now. Yeah. Allie, look up an eagle block. Yeah, I know. Uh, like, fuck he can you, fly Herschel, 60, I can fly he's now, got, too. Uh, his speed <laughs> is 40 feet. I think an eagle is 60 Just feet. Well, hang on. 80 feet Shit. flying speed, motherfucker. As you fly away, you'll see that he just kind of blows fire at you. And catches you on fire. Singes a feather. He's like, can't, can't do that, can you? <laughs> Squark! <laughs> mm, I'm still gonna just keep flying. Alright, so back in the tower, uh, Gaius, <laughs> Vita, Dane, Rote, and Red are kind of just watching this weird bird pissing match take place. Oh wait, correction. I was I looking. Be the person I was looking at giant go. eagle. Regular eagle is. 60 okay, so feet. not quite as domineering, but still faster. Yeah. But still. Goodbye. But yeah. Uh, Red's just gonna go over in the corner, start going to sleep. Back to routine. Rote will look at everybody and just kind of be like. Is there, um, is there anything you need? I don't have much. But... I'm good. No, hopefully Rhythm will get race out of system, and... Yes, we should... Thank you very much for hospitality. Sure. It's... I mean, nothing fancy, but it's, it's safe. After, after flying around for a bit, I will come back, and I'll land, and I'll drop wild shit and be like, Okay, who's hungry? I've got good berries, and cast good berry. Pizza takes one. Guys, Herschel one. takes one. Rote is, so there is a trapdoor that leads to the actual ceiling of this, and after, uh, before you had come back, Allie, he would have gone up the ladder and gone to the top and there's just like a small... What do they call those chairs? Like the little squat sitting chairs? It's like a tripod thing. Hang on. Hang yeah, on. I, I, I don't know what it's called, but hang on. I'm going to get you a physical example. <laughs> so you said stool and I'm afraid he's going to his bathroom to pull out a turd. <laughs> I mean... I wouldn't That's absolutely the thing Robbie would do. Also, did you get that spooky poops thing? I did. Yesterday? I got the spooky poop achievement. Spooky pooper achievement, yeah. Congrats. Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's it. Robbie knows exactly. Yeah, Hell that's exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I got one of those in my car. I don't know. I had one. I was like, hey, there's Sylvia. And then there's that's a really cat. That's really cool. Um, Kitty. But yeah, what Robbie has Kitty. is exactly what I'm talking about. He's got one of those just kind of sitting out there. Um, and he is, uh, just kind of keeping watch throughout the night. So he's out of the room while you guys are downstairs yeah. settling in. Any, anyone else want a good berry? Donna? Good berry? Oh, I had one. Thank you. It's basically like a day's worth of sus to feel hungry. It also uh, does get you one point of health if you were injured, but I don't think any of us are injured. Nah. We'll say it but warms yeah, you up totally a little bit, too, since one. it's cold as fuck outside. Yeah. 
Yeah. I didn't bring winter weather clothes. <laughs> One Vita's. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Vita, Vita, you go. Okay, Vita. Okay, fine. They turn to newly manifested Herschel and briefly say in Draconic, Welcome, brother. He, nod, he just, he nods his head. Aww. All right, now you go, Ellie. I was just going to say, once everyone has a good berry, I'm going to wild shape into a house cat and just, like, curl up. Okay. Go to sleep. I think it was Sylvia. Who was that? It was adorable. No, I think, it was Allie. I think it was Sylvia <laughs> Bailey, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think... Perfect it was timing, perfect whoever it timing. Was. It was so perfect. She is, uh... I'm gonna, I'm going to, uh... Oh, she's yeah. so unhappy. <laughs> Simba! Riggle. She's lost Riggle, all the way. Riggle. Yes. Uh, <laughs> she's old. That's good. She used to be very chunky. Hey, Rhythm, can I bet you I know you're a cat? you, motherfucker. All you gotta do is his... Okay. Okay. What? I see rhythm acting like what happens when I pull out the carrot. Er, in rhythm's laugh, Jesus Christ, that's myself. I curl up in Vita's laugh. <laughs> rhythm does the carrier protocol. As soon as they see the carriers, they just find somewhere to hide immediately. <laughs> Fuck no, that's the vet. Nope. Don't like those. All right. Give yourselves a long rest if you need to. Hooray! There's no need to keep watch. Rote is doing it. And when you wake up, he does have, like, um, a very, very small fire with some cooking stuff, and he's making a Spartan but surprisingly satisfying breakfast. Um, some... Uh, fried meats and eggs and stuff that he, he was able to hunt himself. It's real fresh um, for uh, anyone who partakes. He doesn't realize that Red is a vegan, so he offers it to him. Uh, I'll cast Goodberry and kind of just put my hand out at the same time that he's offering okay. meat. Well, um, you're you're all you're of course welcome to stay as long as you'd like to, but uh, I imagine there are a lot of things you'd like to attend to. Where where are you off to next? Hazel Drum. Unfortunately. Not wrong. Do you know anything of it? I know a couple of druids that went by there one time. Who? Oh. Allow an old man to think while he looks up the shit that you wrote like three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that shit a long time ago, but the second you said that, I knew you were going to tie it fucking in. I guess I need to change Herschel's uh, <laughs> avatar thing now. His token. Oh, yeah, we'll have to do I that. I can do it, I think. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, shit. It's way further back than I thought. I need to write it down somewhere else. You do. You probably I do. meant to, but... Uh... It's document. It's in the... Um... The fandom thing. If that's easier. So I've got... Um, oh, no, you'll have to do it. I don't have access to it all, because it's your game. Oh, okay. That's fine. You should be able to, though, because you own the character. Anyway. Um, the, uh... Oh, what do they call themselves? The, the Loud Fog... 
the 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 angry steam the clamor of mists oh yeah I know them they're good peoples yeah they come they came through here to the drear wood several times and didn't give me any reason to be upset Who did you cross paths with? Uh, I know I'm pushing. I'm pushing your notes. Sorry. No, I've got it right here. I'm playing the role of a very old man who doesn't remember stuff. Um, sure. <laughs> Sin, Cindy, Sindo, uh, San, San Antonio. No. Uh, something like that. When was the last time they crossed paths here? It's it's Sidonia, by the way. Sidonia. That's your character, yeah. But he doesn't yeah. remember because he's old. Um, yeah. I'm not correcting him. I'm just... Yeah, how, how long ago was the last time you saw them? Uh, year and a half. Okay. Maybe less... I didn't realize they came up this far. I don't see them often, but a couple of times over the last 25 years. You, know, you see various people for various reasons. Uh, yeah, sounds about right for them. They're good people. Um, if they come by again, tell them that Rhythm went back to Hazel Drum recently. Uh, I'll do that. You might cross paths with them before I do. Yeah, no, I, I, I get around the wood at least. So I'll tell them that uh, Drum went back to Rhythm for the evening. Rhythm. Mm -hmm. Rhythm is me. Yes. And to Hazel Drum. Yeah. That was a joke. I assumed as much, but at the same time, you are very old. Yeah, I've been out here a long time. Yeah. So, just being safe. All right. So we've got 30 minutes. Now would be a good time to maybe discuss pre Hazel Drum things like yeah. the alternative options. I'll basically like put up everyone. I don't expect this to. I don't expect this to be a confrontation. I'm just checking on my mom's grave, checking on the house, and seeing if there are any clues. If others want to go a different direction for the time being, we can meet back up after. Take a couple weeks and travel. So, like, I'll, I'll use this as an opportunity to say, like, not everyone has to come with me back home. And I will add this sort of a metagame thing that I'm offering you here, but um, you are all from various places and have various backgrounds. Um, this may be an opportunity to gather intel about what's going on for a more in-depth discussion about your plan of action moving forward. Um, it could also be a way to settle some specific uh, um, unsatisfied plot hook. Uh I, as a non-meta thing too, I'll also say I can become a giant eagle now and I can take one or two of us very quickly to Hazel Drum as like a, a non-meta reason for separating all of us. I can take like, I can take one or two people on my back and fly us very quickly there. Okay. I'm definitely not like going back home or anywhere alone so that I don't get kidnapped and or killed. Fair enough. 
So That's Dana good. is willing to partner up with somebody for one of their other missions. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then... Yeah, I could do that. We could partner I'm up. I'm partnering up with whoever's left, because my mission is here. So Ali or Rhythm has the go check in on Hazel Drum. Uh, Christine, is there anything specific you'd like to do? Yeah, Vita's been thinking about it, and with the scope of this devilry being wider than they initially realized, they're starting to think about their family back home, so they are going to try to at least do something long distance to, like, check in, or, like, yeah, see how things are in Cosna. Maybe, like, one of their parents is a cleric, so maybe they can do something to just get like a morse code kind of in touch sort of thing like very like long distance cb radio very limited sort of contact that they set up with okay. one of their parents so yeah. basically there there are two options here um who's on team hazel drum mm -hmm. with ally oh no I'll go up okay. in the halls because I live there. I'm going right. to live there. Robbie, what were you saying? Do you want oh, to go to Cosna or Hazel Drum? Whichever one is, is needed, whichever one, because I know I won't be here next week. Uh, I can go to Cosna. That's fine. I mean, I can take okay. next week off. Like, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah we can schedule it either way. I'll go to Cosna like... with Vita then, if Gaius is going with them. And then okay. Don A. Uh... Okay. Don A, where would you like to go? I'll go. Uh, so I'll, I don't know. I'll give you just a little bit of information. Kazna is um, okay. a swamp and desert nation. Uh, a lot of turtles and lizard folk. Um, a lot of crime. But where Vita is from, they're kind of their own nomadic. Not, nomadic's not the right word. Um, isolated. What's the? There's a fancy word for isolated peoples, but um, but basically they're an isolated tribe of uh, non-binary, uh, asexually reproducing lizard folk. Um, uh, cool. Art and, and Genesis! And they, they live a peaceful life, um, just sort of off in their own tribe of Vey, and it sounds like Vita just wants to go check in on them, see if there's any news. Hazeldrum is in Hulse, which is basically just Skyrim. Um, so it's cold, the people are hardy, uh, it's sort of mountainy, although there are lots of, of plains and, and water areas for um, limited fertile ground, that kind of thing. It's a stratocracy, which means it is a militarily run government specifically. Um, and so uh, Rhythm is interested in going there because Rhythm has been struggling with something called a heart turner, which is something that seems to attack her in her sleep uh, in the form of people that she cares about or people that she has a, a close moment with. Um, Basically, everyone in this party has killed me in my sleep. Ooh, I want to go with you okay. and try to figure out the mystery. No. Has Vita done that no. yet? No. It, uh, Theseus was the first. It's basically the, the people who I am closest to. So it was Theseus first, mm. and then Red, and Barley. then um, Barley. Barley. And the guess who's left you sat so in while you slept? Yeah. It's basically, oh, I I I like you and connected with you personally. Okay, you're gonna kill me soon. It's okay. Oh no. I'm gonna pet that cat. Nothing beat <laughs> lap you won't. Alright, so uh uh got one day you're gonna Never. let me pet you. I right. tried. I tried, and you didn't accept the pets, so you lost out. You might have been traumatized, but that's the perfect time to pet a cat. So <laughs> stir in the trauma. Two star-crossed furries. Still want to pet that cat. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So so Team Hazel Drum is. Uh, Gaius, Donne, and uh, Rhythm, and Team Cosna is Red Vita. and uh, Vita. 
and Alias can take you there. The ship is just north of where you are, so it's easy. Um, Alias. I can fly us to Hulls. Yeah. Alias is um, working on some stuff for IRL, and he has asked Barley to help him, basically. Mm -hmm. Uh, He needs Barley's particular set of skills. (laughs) So, so yeah, the schedule is flexible. Robbie will not be here next week. Oh, I guess it would just work out this way. So, Christine, basically, you get next week off. And then Allie, cool. Rob, okay. and Dana, we will do next week with your small excursion. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the following week, you guys all get off, and I will do a session yeah, with they do. Robbie and Chris. Uh, Rob, make sure that you've got everything set up to be able to stream this <laughs> that you need from Robbie. Please don't wait until 7 o'clock on Monday night to do this. I won't be week. here to help you. Yeah, he will not be available. You have to prepare in advance. I think I'm already right. mostly prepared. <laughs> I, I, I heard the word think, and that is the incorrect word. <laughs> Thank you. But, um, I'm checking on it right now. I mean, it, so in a pinch, if Robbie sends me everything, I can also just stream it if Rob okay. decides to just not do his job. Do you have the the shit the plugin that you need to be able to pull stream pull us? Uh, that's that's the only thing I need from. Oh yeah, no, I've got yeah. everything to like be able to stream. Oh. I would just need the like image itself that we pop everyone's face into. Isn't there a plugin that pulls our Skype yep. calls individually though? I've yeah, got you... that. Oh, do you? Okay, Cause, all right. Because I did a stream with multiple people before. Okay, so even just for for security's sake it may be worth robbie if you don't mind walking Allie through that telling her what you do that way if rob needs help or if something's going wrong there's at least two people who kind of know and can basically we need a redundancy in the system it's been a bit since i had to like run a stream but like way back when when i did the um what game was i even fucking playing uh, Magic. Oh, Gathering. I was playing Res Evil when I played oh, yeah. Res Evil, and people popped in with me. Okay, yeah, yeah. So Rob will be the main person, but we'll make sure that there's at least a backup just in case something goes wrong. Yeah. Um, because this is weird, and it's yeah. Well, I want to be as prepared as possible. Yeah. Um, all right. So, and then I guess what I may do. Robbie or Rob, you can, you can take turns on on whichever, however the hell you want to do this. What I may do for, because at some point I am going to have an alias Barley stream whenever Sarah's ready to come back. So mm-hmm. we'll cut to what mm-hmm. happened to them in the meantime. But because I need one of you guys basically to run it, I may have you guys make a, like just a one-shot NPC type character to kind of come along. We can do that. Um, that way it's, Yeah. Something, something you want to we can uh, talk about that later get started on things so, i mean we still got like 20 minutes so what do you want to get started whatever on? we need to do for uh rhythm travel shit travel and shit setting the stage um, etc no because i didn't prepare i didn't know where you guys would want to go nice i this was this was what i had oh. for tonight Guess what? Um, Guess what, everyone? Which, I mean, Herschel's a dragon. Three hours, but in case you did, Herschel is a motherfucking dragon. dragon. He, he's a, he's a, a Drake. Race and I fucking no, walk. A dragon, a Drake. <laughs> I, and and I, that's part of the reason why I won the race. I think the the language in the book uses them interchangeably for your yeah. companion, though, doesn't it? Once you get past, yeah, the he gro- he gro- he yeah. grows. Which, like, by the way, at, yeah, I think at like level eleven or level well, level seven, seven uh, is when he gets his wings. Level eleven, yeah, level ride. seven, it grows wings on its back, gaining flying speed Rad. equal to its walking speed. And when I summon you and the Drake, gain the following benefits. I can now ride him, but I uh, can't fly him yet. But I can mount him like a horse. 
And then uh, he gets the magic fang. I'm proud of you guys. A year ago, we would have laughed as soon as we heard Robbie say mount him like a horse. When you said I wasn't laughing. <laughs> <laughs> we've uh we've come uh, a long way but uh um yeah there's a there's a there's a drake among us we hate you. now uh so for and the sake of the Ray. viewer or and you guys this is from the brand new book Fizzband's treasury of dragons it's fucking amazing it's pretty good although i'm very excited because i homebrewed the whole gym dragon shit on my own using 2e and 3e and they um, kind of or 3.5 didn't they and well that's the thing is i was worried they were going to do it but they left a lot of shit out so like i can still do a lot of cool stuff with it so yeah you can still homebrew a lot it 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 it's a great new supplement but it definitely leaves a lot of things open ended so yeah um so hey uh taking note so if i were to turn into a giant eagle my fly speed is 80 feet okay. per round right how quickly could i get since this is like we're still streaming we might as well how quickly could i get um gaius and donne and i to hazel drum Just uh like, robbie fly feet all in a mile, day stop fly all day feet stop. in a mile is 5280 Oh, I'm thinking of acres for like 43,000 or something. Okay. 5,200. I actually need to know that. I'm taking the test on the 19th that may have that question. Uh, so 5,280, 800 feet per minute. Uh, that is roughly a mile every five minutes. I'm flying fast. Like the giant eagles could have flown. Uh, you're flying like the 20, you're flying like twenty miles. Fucking Mordor. Yeah. So, um, basically, in an hour, you're getting a day's worth of walking in. You hold your wild shape for three hours, right? I uh, double check. I think so. Yeah. And you can do three a day. Do, 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 do. I can do two a day, and it holds for four hours. Okay, so eight hours. Uh, yeah. At... Eight hours of solid flight. And we can, like, do some walking in between that. Like, I would fly for a while, and then we'd walk, and then I'd fly for a bit, and then we'd walk. So you're getting roughly 160 miles a day. I'd say... Even for me on the other side of the content, you got to be five, six days instead of the like fucking uh, 12, 15 it would have been. Okay, yeah. cool. Just so I have, I have an idea of how long we've traveled and like during the walking times, it's like, so um, I haven't been there in forever, but here's the backstory and this is the time I would tell like Gaius and Donne actually like how shit my hometown is like my mom died and so they kicked me out because they actually hated me the entire time I lived there and yada 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 I was the only non-human <laughs> they're racist motherfuckers but they're not time racists but I hold the deed to her house, and so, like, I've been checking in on it every once in a while, and I send people to check in on it every once in a while, and, like, they're not fucking with her house, and they're not fucking with her grave, so that's all that I am I care about. They're... Did they like Oh, yeah, they them? loved my mom. My mom was... So, my mom was basically the... So, out of game, kind of, she was the stereotypical like, city witch who healed everyone's problems and took care of the, like, took care of everyone, took care of the stray animals and plants and healed people and did minor 
fixes. She wasn't quite a druid, but she had some magic. Um, so, like, the town loved her, and they tolerated me because of her. But then when she died, they kicked me out of town. Those bastards. Oh, okay. Because she wasn't there to stand up for me anymore. Mm -hmm. Ugh, bastards. <laughs> Let's go fight them all. I have contemplated burning down the town multiple times, but I decided that was rude. <laughs> Mom would have judged me for that, and so I did not do that. Because gotcha. even from beyond the grave, she keeps me from just destroying people who are idiots. It's the the town is insufferable. There are people walking around all the time. Like, let me guess, someone stole your sweet roll, <laughs> and you have committed crimes against Hazel Drum and her people. What say you in your defense? <laughs> it's an it's obnoxious. It's all the fucking time. You you can open the door and bring me my food. You don't have to knock weirdly. Keep knocking weirdly. I can't open the door because I'm streaming. Oh my god, I get up all the time. I'm with the... Also, I watched this... I also I watched this up guy all the time. and he decided to do a test in Skyrim and he's like, I'm going to see how many bears each city can handle. And he just starts spawning bears oh. inside the city until everyone is dead in the <laughs> city. And I think Riften won. Oh. It took like 60 or 70 bears before like that checks out actually. they just I they just kept annihilating uh and then they went he went to uh oh what's the place on the top of the mountain with all the the throat of the world it, no it has all the monks in it or all the dragon speakers or whatever yeah he yeah, went the there the and uh loaded in and uh that was a nightmare because everyone just kept shouting and shit was going nuts. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, just plenty of shit like that. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, next week, Allie, Rob, Dana, following week, Robbie and Christine. Um, this will be interesting to see you guys interacting cool. in a smaller group, honestly. But, mm hmm. I'm gonna pet that cat one day. You had your opportunity, Rob. She's gonna be like, hey. She's gonna be like, hey. You know what? I am a cat. I will let you also, it's, pet me. It's not gonna I'll happen be, yeah. on this journey. I'm gonna be super, like. Oh, yeah. I am going to be that angsty oh. kid. I'm not a teenager anymore, but, like, I'm going back home for the first time in years. I, I am becoming an angsty teenager. I'm not gonna let you pet me. <laughs> that's fine but one day so, like a uh, short strands of rhythm's hair starts to fall over one eye as you guys are journeying and it just stays there the whole time <laughs> <laughs> you see you see um, you're just doing yeah. this more and more often just yeah doing the, yeah, doing the a... shake yeah yeah her uh this is the way. her cloak you guys notice suddenly has thumb holes <laughs> anyway yeah I guess that's yeah, is there anything up. else that you guys need to cover or are we good for the night I'm gonna go sleep alright guys well We're thanks good. for tuning in and seeing Herschel yeah. turn into a dragon uh yeah. and uh can't Woo! wait for next week for the fun adventures <laughs> of rhythm hazel drum and racism so <laughs> everyone get ready for oh, no. that'll be the title of next week's hazel episode. drum rhythm and racism uh but uh cool and then the week yeah. after that we're gonna go to Cosna and steal some stuff because they're all kleptos no but uh uh no we'll do that <laughs> afterwards and uh we'll see everyone later bye everybody bye, bye.